explain the difference between APRF and IPRF. APRF is advanced platelet-rich fibrin, and IPRF is injectable platelet-rich fibrin. It's a simple difference. If you look at the tubes, Dr. Shockran has a red tube, and this is the regular advanced platelet-rich fibrin, which he basically uh, brought to us here in the States from France. And then he's got an orange tube for injectable platelet-rich fibrin. The difference is that in the red tube, they're silicone coated, and when the blood that you've collected hits the silicone, it actually starts a clotting cascade. As that cascade happens, you need to spin it down so that you can pull out the different levels. The fibrin, of course, collects in the center, and that's what you want. If it doesn't have the silicone coating on the tube, then it doesn't start the cascade, and it'll stay mixed in with the media. So as you spin it at that rate, the fibrin is still in solution, and you can suction it out and then inject it back in, at which time over 20 minutes or so, it will harden and form the layer that you're looking for. One of the things that you need to know is that the tubes from Dr. Chakran do not fit a standard Lurelock mono injector. This lid is just a little too big to fit into the vacuum vessel. These are a standard BD vacutainer, and they will fit any particular one, and they're red, showing that they are silicone coated. Each of the colored caps are a different thing. What we use is a small tray system here with water because sometimes you don't get the same amount collected in each vial. Each of these is a different amount fill rate so that when we balance the centrifuge, we can uh, have a good result at the end. It's always about balancing so you have less vibration. And uh, one of the last things to know is that when you collect your material, immediately get it into the machine. If you don't get it into the machine immediately, you will get a very, very, very small plug. Those are my tips for today. Thank you.